Hi everyone, myself uh, Nitin Haraji, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, AJ Institute of uh, Engineering and Technology, Mangaluru. In this uh, video, uh, I am going to discuss about a lab program 6 of computer graphics laboratory that is uh, you need to draw a, a teapot uh, which is on the uh, table okay uh, using the uh, shading functions light functions etc uh, so we'll see uh, 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 the program first let me go to the uh, main program over here so in the main program, uh, all these things we have already come across. So my init was used to initialize the things. Uh, then we have a display function used. And if you look at these, these things are uh, you know uh, new to the uh, uh, concept. So here first uh, GL uh, lighting is enabled. So this will enable uh, e, uh, the shading calculations okay so once you use uh, this then uh, the gl color is ignored all right and the next you are going to uh, enable the light zero which is to enable each light sources individually so similarly light zero you'll have light one two three different uh, light sources so how many other light sources you want to use you will have to enable it individually like this. Next is GL enable GL underscore smooth. Okay. Uh, this is used to, to generate a smoothly interpolated color. That is you will be using a, you know shading a kind of a effects. So it spreads uh, the colors uh, smoothly. So that's why uh, you are going to use the GL underscore smooth. Next, you are going to enable uh, uh, that is GL underscore normalize. So the normal vectors are normalized to unit length with this. Okay, uh, normal vectors are uh, uh, normalized to the unit vector uh, unit length. Okay, uh, then is the depth test which we uh, know uh, why it is when you use a uh, uh, to detect the uh, you know visible surface or uh, uh, back face uh, detection okay for that um, uh, we are using uh, depth test uh, next uh, we'll move on to the uh, display function there if you uh, look at this uh, display function you can see a uh, few variables over here initialized with the some values right so these values are nothing but uh, translating points so we'll see what are these okay so these are used for translating uh, points then uh, glu look at uh, is used where uh, you fix the weaver so the first three parameters gives you the uh, position of the camera or the viewer or where the eye is uh, located in x y z coordinate and the next three parameters will uh, give you where exactly uh, the camera is looking at so that is called as at positions uh, so this uh, now it's uh, focusing on the origin okay and these three uh, gives you the up vector value so the up vector uh, that is why uh, you have it as one after which you are going to call the light function so we'll see uh, what is there in the uh, light function so this is the light function 
uh, you have used uh, the ambient uh, uh, you have used the four parameters or the four values so these four pa values are nothing but the first uh, three are the rgb values and the fourth one is called as uh, alpha which uh, defines the transparency so this is for ambient this is for diffuse we have already seen uh, uh, what is ambient uh, light effect what is diffuse light effect and uh, this is for the specular light effect okay so uh, this is the color combination that is used and uh, this is the value for alpha which defines the transparency uh, next uh, here uh, we have this uh, shininess uh, uh, value uh, which is 50 over here so this shininess value it can have a value ranging from 0 to 128 so here you can have the value from 0 to 128 okay after that you are seeing something uh, gl material fv so just uh, note it down uh, gl material fv will have three parameters the first parameter is uh, surface phase second parameter is surface property and the third parameter is property value so uh, the first parameter is surface face so it says gl front you can have gl front gl back or gl front and back gl ambient uh, that is the second property which is nothing but the surface property which says what kind of surface it is so this is a, an ambient surface and this is the uh, value for the property that is the value for the ambient uh, light material okay uh, similarly you have these things uh, for diffuse for specular and shininess so after that uh, uh, you are uh, going to have a light position at uh, uh, these things so here you have this first three parameters which are uh, uh, nothing but x y and z next parameter is either 1 or 0 so 1 means it's the local and 0 means it is at infinity okay uh, the same thing for this also light intensity next uh, you have uh, something called gl light fv uh, just note it down uh, GL light FV has uh, three uh, parameters. The first one gives you the light name. Second one is the light property. And uh, third one is the property value. So GL uh, light uh, 0 which says which is the light source. And this gives the light position. And this is the value for the position. Similarly, here uh, for the same light source, uh, you have uh, 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 the property as a diffuse and uh, this gives the value for the diffuse property. Okay, so this is about a light function. Uh, so, using all these things, you are going to give a mixed effect that is, you are using ambient, diffuse, specular, and shininess ultimately you will have a uh, mixed property of the object you can see it in the object okay going back to uh, the display function here uh, you are calling a teapot function so a teapot function with the, these three parameters okay so zero and the teapot p uh, that is what you can uh, see here t pot of p is set to minus 0 0.07 which i told it as a translating point so, so we'll see what is that translating point now so this is going for a t pot uh, function this is the t pot function you have three values uh, being passed there 
uh, you are going to use the push matrix so all whatever uh, you are having the current matrix that is pushed in the stack and then you are going to use a translate function uh, in the translate function you see that uh, x and y, z was 0 and there was some value given for y so y value will uh, change okay uh, so you will have a small uh, translation there and then glut solid t pot it is a inbuilt function uh, that has been called to build the t pot and point 1 is nothing but the size of the uh, t pot okay then you pop the uh, matrix from the stack so this is to build the t pot okay you can uh, see the output over here so this this thing is what you are going to build okay that is the t pot next you are going to call the function tabletop and you are passing the value x 0 uh, y with the value and z as 0 so that is the table top you have this table top as minus 0.5 which is a translating points so we will go to table top in the table top uh, you can uh, just see that again you have a push matrix and then you are going to translate uh, with some y value keeping x and z as 0 then you are going to scale the object ok that is uh, first you are going to draw the solid cube and you are going to scale that cube ok so that it looks like a table top so uh, when in, you are saying it's a table top you need a width correct a sufficient amount of a width right and uh, the thickness uh, sorry uh, the z value uh, right and uh, the thickness is given by this y which is 0 0.02 okay so this actually gives you horizontal uh, thing uh, that is see this is 0.6 from uh, this point to this point it is 0.6 and this point to this point it is 0.5 which is nothing but the value of a z and this thickness of the table you can see it as 0 0.02 so you are going to draw the table top okay so once the table top is done next you will have to build four legs for the table correct so here you can see there are four legs for the table this is the front left leg this is the front right leg this is back right leg this is back left leg okay just make a note so this one uh, is for uh, front right leg okay this is for front left leg correct so you can see that uh, the x value is uh, positive z value is positive uh, so when the z value is positive uh, which means that uh, it's in the front if z value is negative which means it is behind if x value is positive which means it is a right side if x value is negative which means it is left side so here this is uh, you know front right front left back left back right okay so these are the four legs uh, that you are going to draw uh, you are given with the table leg value of 0.2 and uh, this is uh, minus 0.3 for the y so we will see what happens in table leg 
this is the table leg uh, function so push matrix you are going to translate uh, that is translate with x and uh, y value and also z value okay then you are going to scale so scale what you are going to scale the cube this gives 1.0 is the size of the cube and now we are going to scale this cube how we are going to scale when it is leg uh, you need uh, um, x value uh, which uh, gives you the width as x uh, it should be less because it is a leg and y should be more because the length should be more and the thickness of the leg is less again so that is uh, point zero 0.02 so this will create you the table leg and then pop the matrix next one is about the wall okay you are going to call the wall function with x y uh, as a 0 and the z value is minus wall p that is wall p value of given it as 0.5 okay you are going to call the wall function so this is the wall function you are going to translate it then you are going to scale it so you can see uh, this x value is the width of the wall this y value is the length of the wall and uh, this is the thickness of the wall z value would be the thickness of the wall so you are going to draw a solid cube and then you are going to scale it okay so which looks like a wall then pop the matrix so once the wall is constructed you rotate the wall okay with the 90 degree and uh, with respect to uh, x you are going to rotate with respect to x so what happens is that uh, the back wall which already created so back wall because it is the minus z value uh, you are going to rotate it for 90 degree and uh, with respect to x axis so this wall now what you are going to construct would be uh, the floor wall uh, after rotating the back wall so first you are going to construct this back wall then you will rotate with respect to x okay and uh, you are going to scale this so you will get this size after scaling the floor wall next again what you are doing is you will rotate the black wall back wall with the angle of 90 degree but with respect to y so when you rotate it with respect to y this back wall with 90 degree it comes over here and that wall has to be scaled again that is for this length you can just observe that this uh, uh, scaling is different than this scaling so here the width is less here the width is more here the length is less so you need scaling for these walls so that's what uh, scaling would be done when you call this function okay so you are done with first creating the teapot then the tabletop then the leg and then the wall that is the back wall floor and then the right wall okay so you are done with that and you have already given the lighting effects over here these are the lighting effects that has been given so if you look at this here you have a mixed effect everywhere okay uh, there is no specific uh, anywhere it's given with the mixed effect so this is about uh, uh, the teapot uh, uh, program okay so go uh, with step by step so by constructing the teapot then tabletop then table leg then wall and using the light functions okay so go step by step uh, it would be uh, much easier all right uh, hope you uh, understood this so yeah this is uh, about uh, teapot uh,
program. Thanks for watching this video. If you like, please click on the like button. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.